If you've never seen the show, what are you looking at? A man standing on a roof and his name's Luther. Okay, what is that about? But when you get into it, you're like, oh. We need to know where he is. Look, I know he's in prison. Except he's not in prison. Every Halloween, we all jump, in, jump into a costume, right? And there's this one costume that you just love. You're like, oh, I'm just going to wear that again. <laughs> it's a bit like that, you know? You just kind of, you put the costume back on and you're there again, right? I need to stop this man. I'm still a copper. It doesn't become easier. It just means that I'm more lived in when I put the coat back on. The seed has been planted since season one, quite frankly, that one day this could be a movie. The season one had cinematic traits to it, just the way we shot it, the way it felt. Listen, just meet me, OK? Please. You know, the main difference is, is that we weren't sort of chained to the idea of episodics, OK? It's, this week and then this week and then this week. You know, we weren't chained to that. And that allowed for the narrative of this particular story just to play out bow, 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 sequentially, yeah. step by step, rather than trying to break it up cleverly for an audience to digest slowly. You know, this was designed to one Im impact. I think, look, for an audience that know the show, and now, now they've got this opportunity to see it in a movie, I think it needs to be darker. I think it needs to be yeah. worthy of the title of movie. I think it needs to have much more sort of scale and ambition. I think what made this character dark is, I mean, this film dark is Andy Serkis and that character, which was just dark and relatable. I looked you right in the eye. We wanted the audience to leave thinking, oh, man, what's going to happen next? And I want that. I think that, you know, that was by design. Left that cliffhanger. So audiences yeah. are like, what's going to happen? I love this guy. I want um, audiences to love him. And I want to take Luther into different landscapes, you know, different scenarios. I want to get to know Luther a little bit. You know, I don't know if we okay. know him too much. I want to find, you know, a storyline and maybe the next couple of films that <sighs> peel the onion. Because I'm ready. I like the idea of developing a Luther game. <laughs>